This is Diesel Fool with the People News. This is part two. Uh, never, 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 never look straight forward. Always look around you. For the outside forces want to commit harm upon you. If you've seen the last video, see what they've been doing. They are 100% ignoring the Constitution. Now, you guys already kind of got a feel of exactly how I feel about certain things and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but, this guy is really good at what he's doing right now. So, and that's the reason why I'm kind of doing this video. Uh, again, this is kind of a learning thing. Uh, take everything I say with a grain of salt. Um, we're just trying to find ways to benefit uh, each other during our time of trying to be free. Let's proceed forward. You can bear arms in Walmart, sir, because Walmart is accessible to the public, even though it's a privately owned business, it's publicly accessible. Their policy it's to the door, you cannot bear arms. Their policy cannot override the law of the land, sir. They're subject to federal lawsuit. You, you no, know, if it's posted on the building, you cannot you can't come in my house with a gun if I tell you. Your, your house is private property, sir. Walmart it's not public. No, it's not. It's privately owned. It's a public accommodation under the UCC, sir. This is another misunderstanding that the majority of people have. I've arrested people before. He is absolutely correct on this. I mean, we've gotten so out of bounds and so dumbed down, we don't even know the basics. And this guy's bringing it up, which is really, really, really good. But you can see the officer sitting there arguing with him about something that's fact. There is a difference between all these things, and they have different trespass laws on these things so yeah I'm sure you have because you and, and it went through it didn't go to the Supreme Court because they didn't take it there because they didn't take it there sir the majority of people don't have an understanding of the difference between policy statutes and codes and the law of the land which is codified in the Constitution and upheld by the federal courts these are municipal courts they're dictatory they're advisory based on the consent of the government so this is the and I appreciate you having this dialogue because yeah. it shows that you care and you are a real man, unlike some other individuals we have here. We do have the Constitution, and that gives us that gives us, gives us a broad spectrum of sure. what country's supposed to be. And everything is pursuant to that, right? Wait, no, wait. States have the right to govern themselves. Do you, do you want the federal government to control absolutely everything that you do? No, and I also don't want state governments either. Then the states, they're not going against... Now, that being said... They're actually 100% not going by the state constitution. So, again, he's... The officer's arguing about things, about state control, but... I mean, uh, these policy codes and all that is actually against the state constitution just as well. We're going to go back into one more thing. What, and it may be a different code, but I'm going to use the second. What is the Colorado uh, Constitution say? And the state constitution cannot take more rights from you. It can give you more rights. So if the Supreme says it can't not be this, uh, the states can't go in there and say, "Hey, you know, we have a right to bear, uh, you know, to uh, say yes or no about you having arms." It can't do that. It has to match up with the federal constitution or give you more freedom, not less. It cannot go backwards. It cannot go less. Law, sir. This is all it's people's not, beliefs. No, this is beliefs. None of it is legitimate, sir. No, that's actually a law. That's that's. I can charge you criminally for unlawful carry. It's unlawful carry, so I can actually charge you criminally. And 
they have to and, No, it's not because you have to lawfully go get a CCW. That's your right. You can carry a gun. You have a right. We're not telling you. So you're legislating rights. We're not telling you. You're telling me I have to pay for my right. You have to go and get a CCW. See, you have to go get a form. Anytime you got to get any type, anytime you ask for something, then it's a privilege. It's never, ever, ever, never, ever a right. Anytime you ask for something, it is no longer a right, it's a privilege. Pretty please, pretty please, may I? Yeah, it's called correct. No, but that's a, that's an agreement. You have to W-2, W-9 is a contract. Sir, men and women do not have to make taxes. The first page of the code, the first page of the code says taxation is voluntary, sir. You have to pay. You have to pay to possess an automatic weapon. It's the same thing. Do you have to pay to possess weapons? To possess an automatic weapon? Yes, I have to pay for taxes. Because you're agent and agency, and all statutes, policies, and codes only apply to agent and agency. If it's owned by the department, yes. Sir, it's private property. Anything we own that's proper to us is private property. And legislating... It, 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 that's been passed through the, the, the city uh, the county. It's through the legislator. It, it actually is a law. I can try to... I'm going to pause it here for a second. A, a little bit ago, they planned out, asked him why was it okay for them to be bared arms, and they're just basically saying they're police. But remember, the reason why we're allowed to bear arms and to protect ourselves from them. So how can we protect ourselves from them is the true question. Rights come from God, sir. No, they come from legislation. No, they don't, sir. It says in the Constitution... Where, where, okay, where, where does it, where does it say in the Bible that you have to you have to I'm not quoting the Bible for where I get my laws. However, the Bible... It's called inalienable rights. I am allowed to protect myself by any means necessary. Well, does say trust in the system. However, don't sell your sword. Okay, but you're telling me right now that it says in the Bible that you can carry a firearm. You keep telling me that we're sir. I'm a man. I have a right to defend myself with whatever means I believe to be necessary. Until you have reason to believe that I'm in the commission of a crime, I'm guilty to prove an innocent. Only the Bible says that. I don't need the Bible to say that. My common sense and my conscience. My God. And that, that you're right. God is, the Bible's not the word of God. That's your interpretation. No, it's not. I never said the Bible was the exact word of God. It's the word of prophets 200 years after a man who we have no historicity of. I'm telling you right now. That's what he brought up. I don't even know why you came over here, sir. We had a good conversation with this man. Right, but when you're in the uniform, you have more rights and abilities than the man you serve. That's the, that's the, he says yes, he says yes. He's so sick. He says we have less. Less. Well, yeah, you have duties, obligations, and responsibilities, and you're trying to project yours onto us. We don't have rights. So I, I, I swear to God, I'm standing here to uphold the Constitution of the United States. And the state of Colorado. Sure, but one comes first and the other comes second. You're putting the cart before the horse, sir. Freedom from search and seizure, Fourth Amendment. Are you upholding that? That's another thing. You cannot have a law or policies or rules that contradict the Constitution. It does not work that way. It's contradictory. You cannot say, I have a law saying you can't wear a blue shirt Monday, then you have another law saying you can, you, you're allowed to wear a blue shirt Monday. Can't, that's, that's where we are so messed up at, is that we think these things are all okay, but you cannot have anything contradictory and still come out okay. That's just the state of confusion, and that's what the government is. We don't even need to call them government anymore. We need to call them state of confusion. No, no, you, no, no, you want us to be searched to access the people's courthouse, which is, which is, it's a right to bear arms, so it doesn't say, again, again, you refuse, you're indoctrinated, you're indoctrinated and you're bought into the cult. Sure. 
That's like I said, court. like I said, you have municipal revised statute, which is written by men week to week. I have hundreds of year old Supreme Court decisions that are current up until 1960. You're not interested in the truth. <laughs> Well, you may as well get all these uh, individuals' names because they're saying right now on record. No, they haven't, but they're saying on record we need to get their dereliction of duty in line because they're saying policy overrides the law of the land. That's an issue. Do you get this? The law of the land is freedom from search and seizure to access the people's property. This is men in the Constitution, sir. The thing you swore to uphold, the Fourth Amendment, sir. So then say the Constitution. Don't say the law of the land. The Constitution is the law of the land, sir. The Constitution and Declaration of Independence are the law of this land that are backed by the Supreme Court. They uphold God's law, sir. I didn't ask you for what you observed, sir. You already gave me an attitude and ego. This man has been respectful, honest, open. I don't need you to explain to me anything. Your explaining is enough, sir. I don't need you to explain to me. You're talking down to me. I can combine whatever I want because I'm a man. I'm fluid and dynamic. I'm not bound by the words of other men in this realm, sir. You're not my God, sir. You want to be. You desperately want to use your firearms and backup to dictate what I will do and won't do based on what other men wrote down. I don't follow the dictates of other men and women in this realm, sir. I have a conscience connected to the most high. Because you have nothing of value to say, sir. I could look at you and read you. P.S. He, he's saying all these things, but the easy term on this is, is the United States Republic. A hundred men cannot pass the law to take one man's rights. All right? Democracy, a hundred men, can take the one man's rights. Y'all decide if you want to stay in a democracy or a republic. I tell you have nothing of value to say, sir. All I'm doing is mumbling, and you're ignoring everything I'm saying because your heart is pumping, but you cannot... Okay, I think we're done here, sir. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, sir. Uh, I appreciate you. We know our rights. That's it. Our rights are not going to be infringed upon. We have to be put in a cage. And then you're going to give us your house and boat. Then you're going to give us your house and boat. That's the bottom line. You think you can do whatever you want to do. You're not interested in the regulations. You're threatening me. No, no, I'm threatening any man. Any man, not you, not you, sir. Any, you're going to take my house. Any man or woman who interferes with our rights, I will take their house and vote. How are you going to take my house? I, I didn't say you. You have not interfered with my rights here today. You come take my house, sir. Please back away from me. I'm not talking about you personally. Don't threaten me. I didn't threaten you, sir. I said in the court of law. In the court of law. I'm done with you. In the court of law. Listen, <laughs> government's going to take everybody's house and vote too. I will hold that person personally liable as a man in court. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm advising you right now. And there's no qualified immunity there either. I'm telling you what's going to happen. If you, if I'm advising you right now. I'm not threatening. That's fine. I'm advising you. I'm advising you right now. If you go by that, you're going to be directed to the rest of you. And if you follow those directives, we're going to take you to federal court in, as an individual man, not as an agent or agency. You will be held liable for interference with rights. No, I'm not violating your rights. I'm telling you, you're one of the most important things that I'm saying about the Constitution. Yeah. Yeah, because you're our God and our, our rights come from you and you're going to dictate with weapons what we do. And this man's going to shake his head because policy and procedure overrides law. And we're the idiots here. We're the idiots. Well, we'll see, sir. When they require you all to have vaccinations in masks and continue to slave everybody up, we'll see how you feel about what we're doing here in about five or ten years. What does that do anything? It's because, it's because the corporate entities in this country are overriding law and everybody's being subject to... Stop, stop, stop. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure you don't want to hear it. Every time he goes to interact, he turns away and walks away because he can't handle the truth. You guys are barking at me. I'm not barking at him. He gave me ego, sir. I would talk to you if you were respectful to me. I'm trying to talk to you. Okay, sure. No problem. I apologize. You're just young man. No, you have to understand, sir. This is not personal to me. I've dealt with this for months and months. I've been putting the case over and over again for trying to uphold my rights. I have the case law. I have the Supreme Court. I'm tired of it. It's got nothing to do with you. I'm tired of guys with ego and attitude who think that their booklets override my God-given free choice and rights. I'm tired of it. No, so, so, so you're thinking that the laws that we have in place here are just trying to infringe on our rights? Absolutely they are. Why, why do you feel that? Because we have a fourth amendment. 
Amendment freedom from search and seizure, trying to search me to enter the people's courthouse as a violation of my rights, trying to overthrow the law of the land for policy and procedure. Why do they need security measures in place? I'm not asking why they're in place. See, this is the jump everyone does. Your feelings don't matter to me. I have, I feel like I have a right to bear arms. I have a right to freedom from search and seizure. Just because everyone's scared and wants to make everyone guilty until proven innocent does not overthrow my rights. No, there, there's a problem. I know there's a reason. And, and having security. Sure, but the fine line is our rights. When you cross that fine line, you're wrong. Right. That's why they're called rights, because when you cross them, you're wrong. So listen, when, when somebody gets arrested and then they get searched, can you violate their rights? If they're, if they're engaged in a crime which is defined by loss, injury, harm taking place or a breach of a contract, absolutely not. So, so if you're trespassing, aren't you breaking the law? No. The, the owner never asked me to leave here, and I'm not trespassing. I'm refusing okay. I'm refusing to be subjected to... I think we're here you're here because they have a belief that policies, procedures, codes, rules... Is trespassing a law? Is it a law violation? If the owner asks you to leave and you refuse to leave, the owner of this building never asked me to leave. The individual who's in legal control asked me to leave. And that's... You're under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. And what's that for, sir? Put your hands behind your back. Appreciate you cooperating. Do you have any weapons on you that I don't know about? Okay. Do you understand what we're doing here today, right? There? I do not, but I'm willing to talk to you. Okay. Do you want me to put your phone in here? Are you recording can me you right just, now? Yeah, can I'll you just do... keep it on in your pocket, okay? Okay. Let's pat him down, check to see if he has a weapon. So now, are you the, the man who's... Yeah. You literally actually had to read the trespassing law. Absolutely, the owner has to do it. So again, when he asked, did the Mr. County official come down and press it? You know, um, then he is trespassed. But they never come down to tell them. Uh, the short version is, they have to have first-hand knowledge of the fact. Uh, if you have county officials and you're not on that property then you cannot be trespassed. It has to be some type of man or woman to bring this up. I mean, it's not complicated. It's actually written in the law. It has to be a man or woman bringing these charges. Even in Texas, it's in that law. <sighs> so they're getting arrested unlawfully, y'all. Because no man or woman that owned the property came over there. You guys could say, well, the county this, county that. But that's not what the law says. It says it has to be the owner. Who's the owner? It's we the people. We the people cannot trespass ourselves on our property. All right, well, this is the end of it. Again, this is the things that when you challenge with common sense and actually lawful words, and everybody keeps going by legals, this is what happens. But... Even by legals, everybody keeps going to jail with, you know, cop watchers and auditors. So this is no more different. Um, this is just for we the people news. At least he's standing as a man. Bye, y'all.